तो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी विल डू समथिंग वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वेरी कोड इंटेंसिव आल्सो वी विल कंबाइन द फॉर्म एंड द फॉर्म हैंडलर टुगेदर एंड दैट विल जनरेट वेरी पावरफुल रिजल्ट्स वी विल शो द यूजर व्हाट द यूजर हैज एंटर्ड व्हाट दे हैव मिस्ड वी विल शो इट ऑन द स्क्रीन सो दैट दे फिक्स द प्रॉब्लम एंड वी विल पास दिस टू द सर्वर ऑल्सो and we will show to the user what the system is remembering so let's look at the outline of this module before we go ahead so we will create an interactive form we will test the form the form will be submitted if the critical values are missing they will be showed by a red boundary there will be an error message if things go smoothly there will be a thank you message and then of course about the password part of the form so most of this module is focused on creating and generating a form so what form i am talking about let's take a look so the following all in one php script which is in the text does the following things displays registration form to the user fill it out certain fields are required displays the thanks message if everything is fine error messages for mandatory fields if they are missed remembers the filled fields and of course does something very interesting now browse the script url in your web browser you will see a blank registration form as you can see on the screen try submitting an empty form by clicking the send details over here you should see an error message with the missing required fields highlighted if you fill in some values and resubmit the script keeps checking to see if you have filled in the required fields if not it redisplays the form including any data you have entered and highlights the missing fields as shown in this figure okay now let's look at the code the script kicks off with the standard xhtml page header it includes an additional css class for the red error boxes over here next the script checks to see if the form has been submitted it does this by looking for the existence of the submit form button over here okay and the script calls a process form function to handle the form data where is the process form over here it calls the display form over here to display the blank form passing in an empty array that's the array i'm talking about next the script defines some helper functions validate field over here within the form to display the red box and it's passed a field name and a list of all the required fields that were not filled okay field name and missing fields if the field name is within the list it displays the marker for the error box over here now let's look at pre filling text and check boxes set value is used to prefill the text input fields set value over here it expects to be passed a field name it then looks up the field name in the dollar underscore post super global array and if found the outputs the field value set check is used to pre select check boxes and radio buttons by inserting a checked attribute into the element tag similarly set selected so we are talking about set selected over here and set checked over here both function look for the supplied field name in the dollar underscore post which i have already mentioned over here array and if the field is found and its value matches the supplied field value the control is pre selected let's move on to the next part setting up at initialization next comes the form handling functions process form process form this sets up an array of required field names and also initializes an array to hold the required fields that weren't filled in now the function loops through the required field names and looks for each field name in the dollar underscore post over here array if the field names doesn't exist or it does exist but its value is empty the field name is added to the missing fields missing field is over here if missing fields were found the function calls the display form calls the display form over here 
okay to dis to redisplay the form passing in the array of missing field names so that the display form can highlight the appropriate fields otherwise displays thanks over here now displaying the form itself the display form function itself displays the HTML form. Display form function over here. If this array is empty, the form is presumably being displayed for the first time. So display form shows a welcome message. This is the welcome message over here. However, if there are elements in the array, the form is being redisplayed because there were errors. So the function shows an appropriate error message over here. Next, the form itself is displayed. The form uses the post method and its action attribute points back to the script URL. So the post message. Then each form control is created using HTML markup. Notice the validate field, set value, set check, set selected, okay, are called throughout the markup in order to insert appropriate attributes. And finally, finally about the password. With the password fields, over here okay and over here also type password is unwise to display a user's password in the page because the password can easily be read by the viewing the html source therefore the two password fields over here also are displayed as blank blank value blank value the script checks to see if the form is being redisplayed due to missing required field values if so the password field labels are highlighted with the red error boxes to remind the users to re-enter their password so that's all i have for this module thank you for your time